this is kiran kumar today we will uh, like to discuss about the logic gates so logic gates uh, what we are going to use in our digital electronics and uh, see what kind of logic gates we are having what is the operation they are going to do so logic gates process signals which present true or false normally the positive supply voltage plus 5 volts represents true and 0 volts represents the false other terms which are used for the true and false state state shown below so so logic gates what we are going to show is true or false 1 or 0 high or low on off plus 5 and uh, 0 volts these are the states which will be shown using your logic gates now the logic gates are identified by their function and or not nand nor xor and xnor capital letters are normally used to make this clear that the term refers to a logic gate. So, the above said logic gates mainly classified into three types. One is the basic gates, second one is the universal gates, third one is the combinational gates or special gates. So, basic gates are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate, whereas universal gates are NAND gate and NOR gate and combinational gates are XOR gate and XNOR gate. Now, coming to the basic gates, first we would like to discuss about the AND gate. The AND gate is an electronic circuit that gives a high output only if all its inputs are high. A dot is used to show the AND operation that is A dot B, bear in mind that a dot is sometimes omitted that is A B. Means if you are writing simply A B or A dot B that shows the output as AND gate. Now, you can see the truth table here, A and B are the two inputs of the logic gate and the output will be high only if the two inputs are high, otherwise any one of the input is low, the output will be always low. OR gate, the OR gate is an electronic circuit that gives a high output if one or more of the its inputs are high, usually uses the plus which is used to show the OR operation. Now, the symbol here is the symbol for your OR gate. So, using the truth table, if any one of the input is high, naturally the output is high for your OR gate. Coming to the NOT gate, NOT gate is also called as an inverter. So, the NOT gate is an electronic circuit that produces an inverted version of the input at its output. It is also known as inverter. If the input variable is A, the inverted output is known as NOT A which is complement of A or A with a bar over the top. So, that is shown in the figure. That is shown in the figure. So, here the truth table A if it is 0, its complement is 1. If A is equals to 1, the complement is 0. The symbol which we are using for NOT gate is, is here. Universal gates, uh, the, why the name universal gates means each and every gate can be derived from the uh, all the basic gates and special gates can be implemented using this universal gates. The first gate what we are going to discuss here is NAND gate. This is a NOT AND gate which is equals to an AND gate followed by a NOT gate. The output of NAND gate are high if any of the inputs are low. The symbol is of an AND gate with a small circle on the output, the small circle indicates the inversion of your AND output. So, here is the two table, if any one of the input is low, the output will be high. So, logic symbol is shown here, NOR gate, this is a NOT plus OR gate which is equals to OR gate followed by a NOT gate. The output of all NOR gates are low if any of the inputs are high. The symbol is an OR gate with a small circle of on the output, the small circle represents the inversion. So, NOT gate means if what is happening here is any any one, if both the outputs are low only then the output will be high. If any one of the output is high then the output will be a low one, sorry any one of the input is high then the output will be low. So, combinational gates are special gates which is XOR gate simply represented with a plus sign encircled. So, exclusive OR gate is a circuit which will give a high output if 
either but not both of the two inputs are high an encircle plus sign is used to show the xor gate eh? so here is the two through table if both the inputs are high or low it is the output is zero if any one of the input is high then the output is high so this is a symbol for xor gate x nor gate the exclusive nor gate circuit does the opposite to the xor gate it will give a low output if either but not both of its two inputs are high the symbol is an xor gate with a small circle on the top output the small circle represents the inversion so it can be represented with a circle with a dot in the middle by removing the bar so finally we have total three basic gates two universal gates and two special gates total we have uh, seven gates which are shown by the symbolic representation here so realization of basic gates using a nand gate how we are going to realize uh, means uh, how we are going to implement uh, a not gate and gate and or gate using your nand gate or uh, universal gates a not uh, produce complement of its input you can give only one input tie the input of a nand together now it will work as a not gate means two inputs we are giving as a common input then it will work as a not gate nand gate which is used as a an and gate uh, is two series of nand gates two uh, nand gates which are connected in series will work as a and gate or gate using a nand gate so when you see the equation that is or gate using nand gate means uh, i want a plus b as my output for that i am using a nand gate with a single input the second nand gate with a single input the outputs are a bar and b bar which are given as a input to the third nand gate such that the output is a plus b nor gate using nand gate nor gate is nothing but nor is nothing but a plus b whole bar that is when i give a and b as inputs to two individual nand gates the outputs are a bar and b bar if i give these two as inputs to the second nand level nand gate i'll be getting a plus b and if this single input is given to a nand gate it works as a not gate and the output will be a plus b whole bar xor gate uh, using nand gate uh, this is a small simplification process you have but if you connect the nand gates in this particular fashion that a and b are given as an input here you will be getting as a b whole bar output and a b whole bar plus a if you are giving the input to the second gate you will be getting a into a b whole bar into oh sorry a a b bar a into a b bar whole bar and for third gate a b bar into b whole bar is the output again if you give these two as inputs to a fourth nand gate you will be getting the output as your a exclusive b that is shown here the inputs and outputs of each and every gate and the simplification process which shows a b bar plus a bar b xor gate using nand gate xor xor gate is actually xor gate followed by a not gate so what are the circuit we have used here for xor gate if you extend it by one more gate you will be getting the xnor output so now as i said the nor gate is also a universal gate we are going to implement the nor gate using the nor gate so again tying the two inputs common and giving the input as a that will give the complement a single input nor gate works as a nor gate similarly two nor gates connected in series will work as a nor gate <coughs> and gate using nor if two nor gates the two single inputs are given to the third nor gate uh, the inputs of two output the two outputs of the two single gates are given to the input of the third nor gate then it will give the and output x nor gate using nor gate same principle whatever we have followed for your nand gate we are using the same principle here xor gate using nor gate uh, whatever we have used for xor using nand xnor using nand the same principle we are adopting we are extending it by one more gate uh, so that we are getting the output as xor gate nand gate using nor so here 
a is the input and v is the input for second nor gate a bar and v bar are output at the first level if these two are given as an input to the nor gate you will be getting the output as ab if ab is given as a single input to the uh, nor gate uh, then it acts as a not gate and you will be getting the output as ab whole bar so bubble gates so and gate uh, you can n x sorry nor gate with a input bubble will act as a and gate and uh, a bubble input nand gate will work as a or gate and a input given for a or gate for one input uh, input is equals to the complement complement at the input side of the second gate and so on a bubble input of a and gate is equals to an or gate and it continues if you want to frame we can frame n number of logic gates with the inputs thank you for more videos subscribe